I ran out of this, which makes me really sad. But I do have another one for after this is run out that I'm looking forward to using. But black vanilla fabric spray. I love you. Way, gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with I've switched over to the Rapunzel hair syrup recently As you can see this one is brand new um, Basically the one I was using before, which was called Rosemary from Hair Syrup, was really, really good at making at like new hair growth and making my hair thicker. But now my hair, I think, is thick enough. The Rapunzel is supposed to be what helps it grow. So like, let well, my hair, my hair looks wild right now. Um, I do have hairspray in. <laughs> I put hairspray in it yesterday, so that's probably doing this. Um, but yeah, Rapunzel essentially will make it grow long. So that is the hope. We shall see if it works. But the other ones seem to be doing their, fulfilling their job and I've heard great things about Rapunzel, so... Yeah. Intuition, just wanna follow intuition All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking I know. Don't know if I love or hate this I feel like I'm leaning towards hate mm, I don't know, there's something just not quite right with the ends Especially this one where they've all clumped together Curling my hair is very chronically me with extensions me without extensions and very chronically straight hair. And I thought this morning, do you know what? Let's, like, I'm sick of tucking my hair behind my ears and straightening it. Um, let's try curl it. I think it's the ends, to be fair. They do need a good chop. There's that. But I don't know, it just doesn't look. Hang on. What does it look like from the back? Tell me, tell me, guys, what does it look like from the back? Is it okay? What do we think? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll just cope with it for the day and see how it see how it goes. It might be that once because I've literally just curled it. It might be that once it like drops a bit that I might like it a bit more. But who knows? Um, I'm gonna pop some makeup on because I'm actually meeting up with Demi this afternoon. Um, we're going for lunch. We're going to a place called the Supernatural. Is it Supernatural Cafe or something? Yeah. So we're gonna go have lunch. I've realised that I've just done my hair but then I'm going to put this in to put my foundation on which is probably going to ruin this. Whatever. Kieran banging around <laughs> and I basically just wanted to share with you everything that I'm doing because I I've just been live doing my makeup. These lashes I've put on these ones, which I bought the other day from Boots, they don't look any different to my natural lashes when I put mascara on. <laughs> they actually don't. Uh, they do look very natural, to be fair, but, like, you couldn't tell. Even when I lift my, like, my eyelash up, you can't tell that I've got false lashes on. I don't know if that's good or if it's... I don't know. I need to do my lips again, though, because I've just had a coffee and taking them all off um but god my lips are so dry right now but i don't know if that's like i might as well have not put the lashes on if that makes sense uh because it, like i say it looks no different i don't know <laughs> maybe i've picked up the wrong ones but i used i mean you can see which ones i've used i've used the longest ones i did i did initially try with these shorty ones they were really 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 short and shorter than my lashes and it was it was really no point in putting them on i don't know I'll use them up because I bought them. However, I probably won't buy again, I won't lie. Sorry. Um, I might buy the Tatty Lashes ones and try them if they're like a little bit like longer maybe. But I'm not feeling these ones in particular. There we go, love a lip oil. 
Ooh. Okay, my outfit for today, I actually wore this yesterday, but I'm wearing some slightly different trousers, except they are exactly the same, <laughs> but in a smaller size. So but I've got my little cropped leather jacket on and I've just, I'm just wearing like a thick, um, what's it called? Like a thick vest top, black vest top. And then my pants are like, I don't know. I'm so bad at showing you things. I feel like I need a better show you what I'm wearing kind of thing but they're just basically like pants which have a bit of a flare at the bottom I guess and these are from Halara um and then the shoes new look um but they're quite old and they're kind of like a heeled boot um so all black everything but where we said that basically because um we have kind of said that if that we're going to dress up and take some nice photos so yeah and then I've got my June bag. I'm actually taking, I've, I'm like panic charging the batteries for my Canon G7X camera that I used to vlog with because the amount of TikToks I'm seeing where people are like use the Canon G7, use the G7X for photos. So I'm gonna try, we're gonna try and, well I'm gonna try and do that. I need to go for a wee and then I'm gonna head into town. This is like um, all the stars on the roof light reflecting of it. Here's Demi. <laughs> okay, that was all bad to say. I don't know what I do. Honey, we've come to. Oh my god. Loki missed this camera, I won't lie, but I had problems with the autofocus on it. It kept like, going out of focus, but we've come to the coolest place in town called Supernatural, isn't yeah. it? Supernatural Cafe. Cafe. I think, yeah. So. Vibe. Love it. So it's all vegan. Um, so I'm gonna have a look and see what I can have. It's mad having a menu and I can have anything on this menu. I was gonna say, like, you, can, you don't have to have like a vegan menu separate. I can pick anything I want. <laughs> what a pleasure. That's good. What a pleasure. <laughs> Guys, it's arrived. This is the chicken burger. We've got some coleslaw and some chips and salad and then Demi's taking some photos. What did you get? I went for the um, BLT side salad and a chunky chip. Look Ooh. at that. Look at them. They are chunky aren't they? That looks unbelievable. Ooh, like potato. I'm proper zooming in here. <laughs> <laughs> I am so beyond excited for this. I can't explain. Oh, delish. Delish. I'd say, if I was to continue at the rate I'm doing it, it would, I would say it is, it is time consuming. Mm -hmm. But the profit margins are bloody brilliant, man. Right, I'm done with Demi now. That place, <laughs> unbelievable. Even if you're not vegan like me, I would recommend just go, just go, honestly. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the look. Right, what do we actually think about this camera? Because I, I've spent so much money on cameras and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of digging this. I'm gonna head to um what's it called H&M because I did tell you guys a few vlogs ago that I was gonna do an H&M haul for you and ended up not going to H&M. Oh, I went to where did I go in the end? Oh, I wanted to look around some charity shops that's what happened so I am gonna go to H&M now and have a little look around see if there's anything hopefully it's still as good as what it looked like previously but we can only we can only hope because you never know so yeah beautiful beautiful place that was such a stunning like outlet I, I was saying like it's a shame that it's not like more in central town like it is in central town but it is a little bit of a walk from like any car parks um sorry about the background noise i've got my hang on i closed the window maybe that'd help there we go <laughs> so i've got what was i saying oh yeah so it's a little bit of a trek from any car parks but if it was based like central central newcastle then i feel like i go for, ugh, it's so lazy to say that but it's not something that i would if we were shopping in town i'd be like oh let's go there because it is a bit of a trek but if it was in like near or closer to eldon square i think i would probably go a bit more often i don't know <laughs> call me lazy i don't care but you know you know what i mean anyway heading to h m speaking of my hair i actually quite like it now that it's dropped a bit I'm preferring this to what it was earlier, where it was just a little bit thingy. I'm, I don't, I'm not mad at this. Am I going to start curling my hair again? Who knows? 
let's go to H&M before I start boring you. Right guys, I am home and I am finally gonna sort through my wardrobe and pop some things on Vinted. Now, I'm gonna be upfront and straightforward with you. Some of the stuff that's going on my Vinted you will have seen in a recent sponsored ad. It seemed strange because that ad was actually filmed like a few months ago. That was actually filmed in June end of May early June I think um and I was waiting for the go ahead on it so I couldn't like wear anything and there's a, there's a long long boring story around it but basically I couldn't post it for ages and it went up eventually um I'm not going to name the company but you can probably guess if you go over to my vintage or if you're watching this but long story short the clothes no longer fit and I haven't had a chance to wear them which is a real shame and um, so I'm going to pop them on vintage um, so you can head over there if you fancy and yeah, I'm just gonna sort through some of the rest of my wardrobe because I look at my wardrobe, right? And it's stuffed to the brim, but I never wear any of it. Like I am so such a simple kind of like I wear the same things over and over again um, That when I look in the wardrobe, I think I don't want to wear that. I don't want to wear that I don't want to wear that but then I'm scared to get rid of it because I'm like, oh what if one day I want to wear it? <laughs> I'm so bad for that. So I'm gonna have a look through the wardrobe and get rid of some of my um, my clothes as well. Um, keep an eye out, my vintage name is Jess T1109, I think I'll pop it on screen so you can see it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pop some stuff on vintage. Uh, please don't come for me for the fact that the stuff is from a previous ad. It, I'm just being open with you, so yeah. Let's get this stuff sorted. it is the next day um i just i wanted to have a little bit of a chat um slash rant slash i don't know about um how i'm feeling at the minute because i kind of um i did have a little bit of a moment over on instagram stories the other night um where i basically cried at you guys i did i did end up deleting it though because i just i couldn't Although I was in the moment and just kind of trying to express how I felt, I don't think I could truly get my feelings across until I was a little bit more like collected in myself. However, I did get an influx of messages in that. I think it was only up for an hour um, of, of some of you guys and they were just so nice that it made me cry even more, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about my body confidence and just my self-confidence and how I'm feeling in regards to kind of like weight loss, where I'm at um, and just how things are going really. And what I've kind of put, put it down to is essentially I got really, really confused as to why I currently don't feel confident in my own skin. Um, you know, I've I've said plenty of times on this channel about the fact that I've lost weight. Um, I am doing it incredibly slowly. I'm doing it, you know, on my terms, which is great. And I think I did kind of mention it slightly in the video where I talked about how I lost the weight um where somebody asked like how I felt and I just said well I feel no different um and it's a very very strange feeling to have lost around three and a half stone but still feel like you're at your heaviest um and what was really really confusing me is I think because I spent so long working on myself, working on my own self-confidence, my own body confidence, when I was a size 20 heading to a size 22, um, I felt so confident in my skin, you know, even from going on the solo travels and things like that. And since I've lost the weight, I almost am mourning that feeling of being so self-confident because I've got a whole new body right now to get used to and to feel confident in and it's just not there yet um and I kind of had a bit of a meltdown where I was like I, f I feel like I'm judging myself even more so now um because I'm kind of at that weight where I'm not I'm not like plus size but I'm not small either I'm I'm that I'm at that mid-size point where it's kind of like I don't really know how to dress, I don't really know what flatters my body, I don't really know kind of 
I don't know how I'm feeling about myself and I got a bit overwhelmed and a bit emotional that night about it because I just kind of felt I was like why is it that when everyone's saying to me oh you look so good like oh you must feel so much better and I don't like I don't feel so much better I feel like 10 times worse than I did when I was three and a half stone heavier and it really got to me that because it's kind of this expectation that if somebody loses weight then they should automatically feel better about themselves um and I kind of I think half my problem is that I doom scroll through TikTok and I get videos come up where it's people who have had these amazing transformations and they're like there was a couple which were obviously people feeling so much better about themselves are really happy and that's great I, I feel so good for them but then it was one TikTok that came up where it was they'd said that they essentially they thought that losing weight would solve all their problems and then it was the sudden realization that now they've lost the weight the problems still linger and you've got a whole new body to be comp like to gain confidence in when you weren't feeling confident like, I don't know it, it was just one TikTok and it just hit me up a bit hard um and I was like this is how I've been feeling for the past like couple of months and I think sometimes I do get the occasional comment I don't get offended by this but like occasionally I do get the comment which says like oh Jess we get it like you've lost weight you don't need to talk like keep talking about it and I get like I get it it can be annoying if things start to get repetitive and stuff like that but I think what I'm doing there when I keep talking about things too bit being too big for me or like you know saying that I've lost weight or that I'm fitting into smaller sizes I don't think I'm not trying to project that guys that onto you guys sorry I think I'm more trying to convince myself um that I should be feeling good when I'm not um and I think I'm just constantly trying to reassure myself that I'm getting into smaller sizes so I should be feeling good about myself and it's just it's been a bit of a rough few weeks if I'm honest um obviously there's like you know there's a million reasons as to why I should feel happy right now um but just when I look in the mirror I don't see what I thought I would see at this weight because I've been this weight before when I've lost weight I think I'm only one stone off my lowest weight now um and I'm kind of looking at myself in the mirror thinking one stone won't make me feel how I felt the first time um and I'm just scared of getting myself into a cycle where I'm like, okay, maybe if I get a bit smaller, then I'll feel better. Um, and it's, you know, I preached a lot about being happy with in the skin you're in at your highest weight in order to, for the process to work. And I guess I still kind of stand, stand by that because until I was happy with how I was at the start, I the, the weight was just never going to come off healthily or naturally um and going through that process of learning to love myself really did help um to kind of kick start this like healthy natural way of losing weight but I'm now in a position where I am smaller and I'm looking at my body thinking I feel bloated I feel heavy I feel fat essentially um and it does break my heart a little bit that I worked so hard on getting that self-confidence sorry I'm not gonna cry again I worked so hard and for so long on getting that self-confidence when I was at my biggest that I feel like I'm failing myself by feeling like this now when I've lost a bit of weight oh no <laughs> I wasn't meaning to cry on this I just wanted to tell you how I was feeling oh but one thing I will say is that me talking about this now um I'm really hoping that this helps someone else who might be going through the same thing because one thing that I did get from those comments not the comments the messages sorry from people who were who saw my Instagram story once having a bit of a meltdown is that they there's a couple had said that they'd never felt more seen and heard because they were feeling the exact same um and I'm really hoping that if you're feeling this way that it's not uncommon it's not abnormal to be grieving the self-confidence you had before um or grieving the fact that you thought that you would feel different um because I'm going through it right now and it's just bizarre and I don't know kind of what to 
do in order to change my feelings um and this is going back to kind of me saying that I don't f I really hope that I don't get myself into this cycle where I'm like well if I'm smaller then maybe that'll make me feel better because I'm kind of in the position now where I'm like actually I felt better when I was three stone heavier or three and a half stone heavier and why why am I putting myself through this I mean yes it's good for my health but for my mental health right now not it's not <laughs> um but yeah I just wanted to get that across and just have a little chat with you guys about how I'm feeling at the minute because it has been rough it's been really really rough but if you are feeling the same as me please um feel free to message me I know that um sometimes I don't get to reply to all the messages that I get just because the, there are so many that come through but please know that I read every single message that comes through into my inbox on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, everything that gets commented I always read regardless um, and just know that I am thinking about you and I I just can't physically reply to everyone but I, I am, I I see you um, but yeah I think I'm just going to leave it there because otherwise I'm just going to end up crying at you um because I cried at Emmanuel as well when he got home from work that night um he did really help like reassure me and stuff but it's kind of one of those deep ingrained feelings from years and years of trying to lose weight I guess um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video um sorry to end it on a bit of a sour note um bit of a depressing one but um yeah thank you so much for watching I hope that you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button I will see you in the next one bye guys Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me